After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. Good start! Couldn't even do my daily farm run. I have one goal with the start of this episode, and that's to get 60 mining to unlock the mining guild. This is one of the best areas for a PvP hardcore Ironman to unlock, because one, it's a safe zone, and number two, there's so much to do and obtain in this mining guild. We are currently 54 mining. We start off by mining this shooting star. 55 mining. 56 mining. In the middle of all the mining, I got a beginner's casket for... 57 mining. Did you see that? He went specifically for me, C Engineer. Oh my god, I was so AFK. I was actually AFK, I was tweeting. I just now sent this tweet and someone shows up. What are the odds? 58 mining and he's back. A disconnection, a DDoS attack. That's how this series could have ended, but luckily enough, I have secured my internet all thanks to today's video sponsor, NordVPN. With NordVPN, all of your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. If the wrong people know your IP address, they can send DDoS attacks to your internet. But NordVPN allows you to change your IP address and giving you an extra layer of security. And with NordVPN, you can stay safe and connect to a total of six devices at the same time. Using NordVPN is as simple as making your morning coffee. And right now I do have a special offer. Get a huge discount on a two-year plan of NordVPN at nordvpn.com slash cengineer. And when you use my code cengineer, you will get an extra month for free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Once again, nordvpn.com slash c-e-n-g-i-n-e-e-r. Link in the description down below. 59 mining. I think we can boost up to 60 mining and enter the mining skill. So let's go. We can go downstairs. This is not safe. But if we enter this door right here, it is safe. It's a safe zone. The entire thing is a safe zone. The hunters hate this place. And let's not forget, we got some reward from the shooting stars. We can now buy ourselves a celestial ring. This celestial ring is very nice because it has an invisible boost of plus 4 to mining. 60 mining, 61 mining. From two levels of mining I got 10 unidentified minerals which we can use here at Bellona. And I'm gonna buy some soft clay pack, not really worth my time to be honest. And of course we got plenty of coal, iron ore and mithril ore, so I'm pretty happy. A very safe way to train in the future. It is time for me to do a hunter session. We're gonna catch some red salamanders. My end goal is to get 83 hunter to be able to catch dragon implings. Once I reach this stage, I will start gaining combat levels and I'll explain why I need 83 hunter to gain combat a bit later. Oh my God. How did they find me so quickly? That was a seven minute session. All right, we are here in Mauritania in a swamp lizard spot. Not many people know about 69 hunter, 70 hunter, 71 hunter. All right, we got ourselves two caskets, one easy, one medium. Please give me some teleports. That's all I'm asking for. An ancient page. All right, I'll take it. And it teleports an armadillo page and purple sweet. Oh. We have gotten four unique pages so far. Not too bad, not too bad. Two more caskets, please. Teleports a steel battle axe, green dehyde bot. Oh. Another magpie. Can we get something good? Dragon dagger. That's a high alt. How much is that if we sell it to the store? 18k cash. That's great money. Beginner, easy, and medium. Good luck. Nothing and uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come on, magpie. I'm 
wasted so much food and I didn't get my magpie. Please. Thank you. Please be worth it. Diamond amulets. Okay. It's a few K. Back to West RD General Store to sell some items. And now we have 66k. I'm a rich man. Uh, there's so many peakers out right now, so I decided to get myself 63 mining. The hunters really delayed this level. 72 hunter. 73 hunter. 74 hunter. You can catch. Wait, Ninja is 74. Ninja is 74. I thought it was 75. That's awesome. And that will be 75 Hunter. We can now bare hand catch magpies. Surprisingly, we have been training Hunter for two hours without a single peeker coming here. Our first ninja. Oh, please, please, please. No, don't you dare. He, he entangled it for me. Yes, we, our first ninja in playing. Onyx ball tips. All right. There's one item from a ninja emblem that I really need to be able to progress my account further. And that is the weapon poison plus, which has a drop rate of 1 in 19. Once I get the weapon poison, I can complete a few quests, Lost City being one of them. <gasps> Ooh, blue DI chaps. That's an item for the future when I start training range and combat. A quick quest break to complete Ernest the Chicken. Hey, 38 Herbor while peekers are after me. There's a peeker somewhere here. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh, they, they have locked down everything. I have decided to go on a serious ninja impling hunt in RuneScape. We need that weapon poison to complete Lost City. So I've asked every PvP hardcore man that if they spot a ninja impling, I will pay them 10 mil if I get the weapon poison. There it is. Oh my god, there it is. Gimme, give gimme! Give yes! A second ninja impling. If we get the weapon poison, this man gets 2 bonds or 10 mil. Sad. Come on, give me the weapon poison. Mystic boots. <sighs> Look at this magpie. There we go. Anything good? Rune warhammer. That's a nice little 24k. Hey, another ninja. Please play weapon poison. Rune throne axe. What am I ever gonna use this for? Good luck. Four prayer potions. That's a good drop for the future. Of course someone's waiting here. Way 76 hunter. Yes, we got another ninja. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Thank you. Ah, uh, rune chain buddy. I completely forgot about this upgrade. The boots of lightness. The boots of lightness lowers my weight by 5. There we go, ninja in playing. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh, rune shade body, sad. 30k. Ooh, 240 XP. Uh, opal machete. There we go. A ninja in playing, please. Prayer potions. Oh, here we go. Another ninja for runes gasmatar. Look at this like, incredible experience I'm about to get. Bam. 7k, 59 farming. Another 7k. And that's 15k, 60 farming, two levels from three three patches. All right, three more caskets for nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, a ninja impling, a ninja impling. Is it the golden one? It's not. Just look at the amount of people watching me in farming skills. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's another one south right there, thinking I can't see him. Too many PKers forces me to mine, 64 mining. There we go, ninja impling, one mil to this man. Four onyx ball tips. Hey, another ninja for a rune chain body. Another ninja impling, come here. Good luck. Opal machete. <gasps> ninja impling in the middle of nowhere. Give me the weapon poison. Ah, oh, never lucky. Oh my god, I got hit for first. Oh my god. 77 hunter oh my god it's john wait what is he gonna sh say hi he just ran off another milestone six to one farming for a snake grass
Gazmatar. This shooting star is the only shooting star I'm allowed to AFK at because it lands in a safe zone. So I'll just sit back for the first time in a week and relax. Two more caskets, easy. Double pages, all right. Medium as shit. And that's 78, Hunter. Hey, he has a ninja. I can trust the pog. Hey, golden one, never lucky. Ninja play. Come here, ninja. Is it the golden one? It's the golden ninja I'm playing. It is the golden ninja I'm playing. While mining the shooting star, I'm done. I don't even care about the star. We got the weapon poison. I'm so happy. We can finally do the lost city quest. That's all I needed. All right, it is time to start the quest lost city. All right, this will be our inventory for lost city. It's like a 50-50 chance of me completing this quest without gaining any combat. My initial plan was to get here and make an iron or a steel dagger and poison the dagger. However, there is no anvil here, so we will have to use range. get the axe. All right, please. There's a 40% chance for an axe. Please. Yes, we got it. There we go. Beautiful. We got the kill. We got the dragon staff. Grabbing some extra just in case. Home teleporter land bridge, we are done here. And this will be the last city quest completed. We have now access to Sanaris, a beautiful place with beautiful amount of things to do here. And one thing is certain, Puro Puro right here. We can enter it at any time we want now, so that's great. As of today, Jagex decided to do a massive change to one of the PvP weapons which is the Warhammer. All Warhammers, including Dragon Warhammer, now require strength to wield instead of attack. This means you can build an account bracket which has 70 strength and 30 combat. And the max hit of this account build, which I know many people have, is 4 to 6 with a special attack, meaning I can get one hit by a Dragon Warhammer as of today. And for this reason, I am going to complete a diary being the Lambridge Diary for an XP lamp, which we are going to put on hit points. And here we go, another use for the weapon poison. We're putting it on the steel dagger. We now have a steel dagger poison. One item I really need for the diary is a water talisman. There's a one in 20 drop chance of getting the water talisman for the diary. Okay, I've been scouted. I killed the 12 water wizards. Didn't get the water talisman, so I don't know if I can continue that uh, right now. We will have to do the other diary for now, the Kandarin diary. Luckily, we can do this one as well. Uh, yep, there we go. The easy Kandarin diary have been completed. We got a new Kandarin headgear as well. And we got a lamp for 2500 experience, but we're gonna keep it in our inventory for just a tiny bit. And that's eight attack. We are slowly getting combat, very, very slowly. Yes, we got it. The water talisman have been obtained around the drop rate as well. I think it was 22 kill count. And yes, that's the easy Lumbridge diary completed. Since we now can get one hit by a Dragon Warhammer, why not spice it up by being able to get one hit by a Dark Bow as well? That's 35 hit points for 17 combat, and that's 36 hit points as well. 
another episode where we still are alive so thank you all for watching if you did enjoy this one can we get 5,000 likes and of course the bounty have increased even further by 15 mil then 25 mil then 10 mil times 2 then 100 mil another 25 mil another 20 mil another 50 mil and another 860 mil putting the bounty at 3 billion 611 million GP. Good luck, gamers. Mm -hmm.